organizations within Milwaukee that always provide, and I would say connect small businesses to the resources they need. One, I just talked about Milwaukee Urban League. Absolutely phenomenal. I spent time with them on Monday. We did a session on the power of capital and talked to small business owners. Two, um, if you guys haven't ever been, but Wibbick events, oh gosh, there's so many. The Business Council, um, and even your local chambers are so great. Uh, if you haven't joined your local chamber yet, please do. Another great organization in the area is MKE Black. They're always sponsoring events and doing things for the community to let them know where they can find these resources. I would Google it, um, but talk around. Look on Facebook if you're not on LinkedIn. This is where all of that information is available. And lastly, talk to your CPA, and if you work with a bank or you have a relationship manager, talk to them. We typically know where a lot of grants are available because we work with a lot of organizations within our community as well. I feel like you somewhat already answered this question, but just in case you have any more to follow up, how can businesses get support You know, in preparation with these documents? Yeah, so a couple of things. One, I love, if everyone's listening here, just go to the SBA website the SBA website has so many free webinars. What is the SBA website? Small Business Administration. So just type in SBA and it'll show up sba.gov. You guys, they have so much stuff for free that is amazing for business owners. They have templates for your business plan. Um, I know that we have a lot of customers that come in. They're like, I don't even know how to start a business plan. It's like, look, just pull it up. Pick what subjects pertain to you. Um, they have free webinars, free training, free technical assistance. It's absolutely amazing what's out there on that website, and most of it is free of charge. Other things you can do, again, those nonprofits and organizations are really important. But lastly, um, go to your bank. So we see it all the time. Customers come in and say, I want to apply for a loan now, and they don't have anything ready. Do not wait until you want to apply for a grant or a loan to start preparing for it. Do it now so when the time comes that you find something that you're really passionate about, um, you think you can get the grant or you're ready to be approved for a loan, that you have everything ready so you're not scrambling. And your bank will totally help you with that. That's what they're there for. Last question I have for you. What programs do banks have that are available to entrepreneurs? So a lot of banks today are now rolling out minority women veteran-owned programs, and they are really worth looking into. Um, they have different credit score requirements, different credit criteria, uh, different collateral requirements that make it really easy and accessible for startups, uh, entrepreneurs, maybe a business that's been in business less than a year, or maybe a business that's been in business for 10 years to have access to capital. Uh, one thing that I'm really excited about, and I'll be on air in a couple of weeks here, is we are actually rolling out our new program going live on Monday called the um, Community Uplift Loan Program, which Ooh. I know. Kyle knows I've been really excited about this I, for a long I time. I am. How, how many details can you share? I think you're going to have to wait. Okay, about okay. I can't wait. I'm excited to hear more about it. Yeah, we're really excited. It's something at Associated Bank we've actually been working on for more than a year to make sure that it helps as many people in our community as possible. But i that's one thing I'm so proud of is being able to make an impact and share it with all of you and hope that it helps uh, business owners, you know, be more successful in Milwaukee. Ashley, with this Uplift program, did you all, when you decided to say, we want to make a difference, and I know details are coming soon, can't wait for Monday, so I'm sure Associated Bank is going to have a press release, so everybody be on the lookout for that on Monday, but did Associated Bank say, we see a need, we see a gap here that people have, and did you decide, hey, let's try to figure out this uplift program, we can support people? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and there certainly is a gap in the availability to capital for women and minority-owned businesses, right? And I think... As a bank, especially the largest bank in Wisconsin, our headquarters are in Green Bay, Milwaukee, we have a responsibility to react to that and do something. And, you know, it becomes personal, right? Because you know that you can make the difference. And, yeah, absolutely, we have a responsibility to do something about that. And that's certainly something that we saw. And a lot of us came together and a lot of people were involved to make it happen. So really exciting. Ashley, is there anything else that you want our listeners to know about loans, grants, or, you know, any resources that they may need as small business owners? You know, the best thing I can say is don't be afraid to ask questions. If you don't understand credit, you don't understand how to get capital, 
you don't understand how to apply for a grant, raise your hand. You don't have to know everything. Your job is to run your business. Ask a subject matter expert to help you. There's so many resources in Milwaukee that want to help you. And if you have a bank that you work with, you have questions on applying for a loan or a line, call them and get the information now. If you bank with Associated or you don't, you're more than welcome to call our Relationship Manager hotline. It's available 8 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday, and the number is 414-270-7725. Well, Ashley, thank you so much. Are you good with your questions, Kyle? No, I'm I'm just excited to have this resource for our community, having an associated band come on and talk about making your money work for you. So I just love it. I know. I lo- Well, and not only that, but you just, I, I feel like you provide a lot of great information about things that maybe people are afraid to ask questions on or have some confusion and therefore they just don't ask, you know? So I think that's really wonderful. Kyle's like me, I'm people. And I love, and she said, raise your hand. Like right. that's what people need to do. We need exactly. to start raising our hands so we can get this access to capital, access to resources, access to information so we can continue to build our community up. For everyone listening, he literally physically just raised his hand. Like he they can see did. us in the camera. Yeah, they can see it. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Oh yeah, you're on, camera. on YouTube. You're on camera. Oh. I love it. Well, Ashley, thank you so much. Again, that was Ashley Lucas, VP of Lending at Associated Bank lending and pro- sorry I don't want to miss business loan product manager business, okay period I Whatever. was gonna say I, I didn't want to say it, it wrong business loan product manager period Ashley put some respect on her name and her title appreciate you always Ashley again that's Ashley Lucas from Associated Bank they always know how to help us make our money work we'll be back y'all Truth Nation the locations are set and it's time to clean up our city. Join me and the Truth team on Saturday, April 29th for our community cleanup. Go to truthcommunitycleanup.com to volunteer and help keep Milwaukee clean. Everyone who joins gets a Truth shirt, a bucket hat, and a free lunch. Tory Lowe Community Cleanup is sponsored by St. Ann Center, the best intergenerational care in Milwaukee and Cousin Subs. Better bread, better subs, Cousins Subs. To put down strong roots, a little support goes a long way. And when you work with someone that knows our communities as well as Associated Bank, you get financial guidance that fits your life. They use financial knowledge to build solutions that make a difference from a personal loan to a new home. Associated Bank is ready to help you grow stronger roots here. Learn more at AssociatedBank.com slash lending. Associated Bank, member FDIC. Are you looking for an opportunity to better the Milwaukee community? Do you want to develop your skills for a career or job? City Year Milwaukee is recruiting for its 14th cohort of AmeriCorps members. We are hiring young adults ages 18 to 25 to serve our amazing scholars in Milwaukee Public Schools. This opportunity allows you to serve your community and gain professional development, which will allow you to enter the workforce, your next educational journey, or even stay with us for a second year of service. Visit cityyear.org to connect with our local recruiters and learn how to apply. All Brewers games are on sale now, including a star-studded battle with the Angels on deck for April 28th through the 30th. Witness some of baseball's biggest names go head-to-head as Corbin Burns and the crew face off against Shohei Otani and the Angels. Plus, take home a limited-edition Brewers hoodie at the game on Saturday the 29th. Get your seats today at Brewers.com slash promotions. What is dedication? My biggest fear in the middle of my addiction was that my kids wouldn't have a father. I overdosed on heroin, and I lived. And I started thinking, you know what? This isn't my story. My desire to change had finally outweighed my desire to stay the same. I felt powerless for so much of my life. It's important to me that my kids are empowered and truly believe that if if they can think it, they can do it. I definitely had to become a better man to be a better father. For the first time, I, I finally feel like I'm exactly where I should be, where I want to be. That's dedication. Visit fatherhood.gov to hear more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. You are listening to Nothing But The Truth with Melanie Ricks on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Don't be worried about what we be doing. 
doing, what we doing, making money What they doing, hating on us, if they want it, take it from me What the mother doing, I don't know, cause I don't stone them Mind my business, on my mama, I'm coming Big booty, made a bag, cut so Shots out the switch, made them bag his man up Say that she a she my private dancer You can call her phone, bitch, she ain't gon' answer Go, 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 go Known and turn the bitch up, talking way past the ceiling Go, she fuck with me because he carries like a rabbit silly My nigga pop Percocets, bite like a willy Run the city of Memphis, we known for macking and pimping But I'm a hot boy, I can't lie, I got some wheezy up in me You know this shit get greasy, I'm in the streets like a meter She telling me that she need me, but Lord know that she a eater Ay, tell him drop his nuts, he holding too much tension in his balls Made him run a four flat, but he was six feet tall Like a high school, I'm trying to hit all y'all Yeah, I seen him stomach, but I'm trying to make him fall, fall Shake it, she What's was up, fully dressed Naked. We're back, and we're going to get into some uh, coach talk because yesterday I saw a report that said that the Toronto Raptors have been given permission to interview Becky Harmon because, as we know, Nick Nurse is out as a head coach in Toronto. They have been given permission to go ahead, move forward with the interview. Uh, I think the interview process, or at least just talk to her. It's probably still in the talking phase. You know how it goes from talking to dating to actually being together. I think they're still in the talking phase. But either way, Becky Harmon, I think this is now, what, the third team in the last, like, four or five seasons that have said that they had, you know, shown some interest. Yet we get close and there's no cigar. At what point do you think the NBA will hire a female head coach and which team do you think will be the first? Because I personally do believe if any team, I think it will be the Toronto Raptors that are the ones that take a, take a chance on that. And I hate to even say take a chance. I just, I genuinely believe that there's a bit of a fear factor in hiring a female head coach in the NBA specifically. What do you guys think? Uh, you, you know what? Um, you know what? Um, <laughs> we can hear you guys back there. Uh, hey, Bill. We can. Hey, hey, real, You're loud. It, it is what it is. You know, this is live go radio. Ahead, go ahead, Bill. You know, you I do. almost had to go off with some almost people. Had you know how to, to let these go people know. Oh, no. <laughs> how to let these people know. All right. It is what it is, though. But uh, you know what? When it comes down to uh, uh, what NBA team would actually allow a female head coach to actually lead a team, in all honesty, I, I wouldn't even think it would be Toronto, although I do know they have more progressive values and views up there. I would personally think it would be L.A. And here is my reasoning why. All right? Because of out of all states in America, when we talk about progressive views and values, all right, California seems to be leading the way. All right? When you talk about the alphabet community, when you talk about wanting uh, uh, racially uh, equality and everything like that california seems to be the way right now they're over there talking about uh reparations for black folks all right they're talking about different uh different views and laws are uh, changing around for the alphabet community i would think that, that they is will... so offensive it, stop saying like, that alphabet, stop saying alphabet I, I community. Can't say alpha, no that is just, so offensive man either say it or don't say it plus. at all i think that is okay. so rude so just it's just confirm, so many letters alphabet I, I, community but, no, but it's 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 not condescending is it not it's acceptable no, you know it's what? being condescending. I didn't, That's I, what that I, was. I, I didn't know if it was said, but I just say LGBTQ plus. Look, you and know if what? you don't know what it, it is, is a just don't say full. it. Don't say it, it then, is, but, but, but full, alphabet. Man. Come on, baby. Alphabet, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's but that's rude. I thought about it's not, not rude. the alphabet it's community, not rude. though. But it, they're not called the alphabet community. They're called the LGBTQ plus community now. Okay, that's what they're called. But you know what, Truth Nation, you know what I'm talking about. All right, and these are the ideas that are being progressed and pushed down our throats each and every day. Okay, but with that being said, I digress. All I'm trying to say here, Truth Nation, is I think the L.A. Lakers would actually go ahead and uh, and, and have a female head coach. They already have a few different uh, men on their co uh, on their team that don't mind wearing uh wearing different attire, wearing different outfits to to uh to appease uh, the masses, if you will. So I think the female head coach idea would be great for the Lakers. And all in all, honestly, I think. Whether it's a male or female, uh, sometimes females have better better ideas than a male does. You know, so if uh, a female head coach can come and run the team, then go for it. L.A. Lakers all the way. Let's go. Let me ask real quick, Kyle, yeah. before you chime. I'm excited to hear what you have to say as well. But real quick, 833-212-1017. Let us know. Do you think that the NBA is ready for a female head coach? And if so, which team do you think will be the first team to officially hire a female head coach? Do you think it will be Becky Harmon? And which team do you think will be the first one to do so. The reason why this is coming up, the Toronto Raptors, it was reported just yesterday, I believe, that they are currently in talks to potentially hire Becky Harmon. 
I get a little frustrated though because Kyle, we've we've done this song and dance, and my fear is that no team is gonna feel like they want to be the first, like they're not ready for it. But I don't understand why. No, here, here's my perspective: is looking at this big macho, and obviously there's not as much testosterone energy that they have in NBA as they do bas- uh excuse me, NFL, but it still is. And I just can't foresee a man and these men at this elite level respecting a woman enough to allow for the woman to be the coach. And even if they hired a woman, the leash that the woman would have as the head coach and the things they – I mean, let's think about it. When it comes to the potential dressing room and guys walking around a certain way, I understand that media is inside there. But, you know, I don't know if, if Coach Bud walks into the locker room and Giannis got his stuff hanging out. I have no idea. But I just don't believe overall. Not saying that women don't have the ability to coach because they most certainly do. A lot of legendary coaches in college basketball, whether it's Vivian A. Stringer or whether it's Pat Summit, or whether right now it's Dawn Staley from South Carolina, doing a great job. So I don't see the problem being intelligence. I see the problem being men not accepting a woman coach. So that's how I'm believing. Misogyny. Just say it. I don't so, know if it's, I don't know if it's, an, it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's what else different. Is it? It, it's, a, it's a sport where there's a whole bunch of men that are playing and just trying to accept a woman voice would be, I think, would be difficult. But she did coach in the G League. Well, yeah, and she's been on uh, Pop's coaching staff for many seasons. Yeah, yeah, just as, as the head coach and a leader, I, I just can't see it. I think it's tough to, for me to envision, like, a woman being a head NFL coach, a woman being a, a head But women NBA don't play coach. football as commonly as, obviously, women play no, basketball. No, and there's some uh, very intelligent coaches that could easily coach men, but NBA, that's a tough sell for me. Do you think, then, that it is a – because you said NBA specifically. Is it a cultural thing? Because, obviously, NBA culture is very unique. I don't think there's any other sport that can match that culture. Is it an NBA thing specifically? Yeah, I think specifically it is the NBA at that highest level. You have to be a heck of a coach. And I don't know if Becky – she's a good coach. She is. But I don't know if she's going to – you know, you have to be Are you saying this because she's a woman? No, I'm saying it has to be undeniable. It has to be undeniable. Like, she needs to go to the G League and win title after title after title after title. So you're saying because she's a woman, yeah. she would have to prove her the, worth yeah, a little uh, bit do, more. You know, black people, we go through it all the time. So, yeah, she would have to prove her worth more, and I just don't see it. You have to be a beyond great and beyond exceptional in order for them to say, okay, she's proven it at every single level. So, no, I think this is all just a show. And that's so frustrating because – it. Why even, well, I know why, it's political, not literally political, but they have to give a woman an opportunity if the woman is interested, right, in theory. Like, they can't just say no because you're a woman, we're not. But Mm. my thing, the bone that I have to pick with the whole idea is the fact that if it's all just showboating, why even get her hopes up? Why even take it to that point? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't even understand why they, they even allow that. They do it to black coaches all the time. They got something called the Rooney Rule in the NFL where they just True. interview black coaches to check a box. So. They need the Harmon Rule next. I'm serious, too, because I, I really want to see a woman coach an NBA team. I think it would be incredible. It would obviously be historical. Uh, we got two people. Oh, oh, the second one is, okay, got you. We just got one person on the line. My bad. We got Winky on the line. Good afternoon, Winky. Would you or do you envision a woman becoming a head coach in the NBA? Never. Listen, we, you guys, the ladies, don't want these transgenders over there on their side. So why would we bring a woman to dominate or to come over and try to coach a male sport? Listen, it's just like the boys' club. You can bring uh, the Boy scouts. Little girls can come to the boys' scouts, but little boys can't go join the girl scouts. See, this is all a woman feminist movement. You understand? And, Mel, I understand your generation. So, you know, when you bite back at me, I just kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know, stitch my wounds up and keep it moving. But let me explain something to you. Because they speak up for themselves. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Huh? There's nothing wrong with women speaking up for themselves and wanting to be accepted in multiple rooms in different places. And also, we, I, I'm, that's not what I said. No, what yeah, I, said is yeah, that I was actually co-signing what you said about the, the woman coming over and, and, and being a coach. See, listen, that's the same thing. Just go back to the transgender. Put a man over there in their sports. Let him go coach, dress up like a woman and coach that or play in the sports himself. We got a problem with that. At least I got a problem with it. I don't know what you new millennials got. but Thanks, Winky. Sorry we had to cut you off. Um, that wasn't me, by the way. I didn't do it. It was Ben Jimmy. You, okay, you period. Know, I was going to say, I, I'm not snitching. Heat. I ain't snitching. I'm the producer now. I, I cut folks. Okay? Let them know, Ben. I, I don't care. I don't care. As long as you come through and you drop your comment, whatever, whatever, say how you feel. After At the end of that, I cut you. That's just how the business goes. Also, I want to apologize. I kept seeing, saying Becky Harmon. It's Becky Hammond. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, so disrespectful. I am disrespectful. Like, put some respect on her name. My gosh. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Becky. 
Hey, but real talk, real quick. So Winky, the issue with his viewpoint, he will never understand where our generation and Gen Zs and, you know, the ones that follow come from. He's, he's in his generation. And I think the issue uh, oftentimes, and it's not even just a generation-specific thing. I think it's an age-specific thing. People get to a certain age where they just like, no, I'm, I'm not doing this new age idea. I'm not mm -hmm. doing these new concepts because what we did worked for us, so it should work for you. Yeah. You feel me? All I know is if they ever did get a female head coach and turned out to be a transgender, it'd still be a man leading a team. Wait, what? I don't know. Disrespectful. Go to break. I would say that doesn't even make sense. Break. Ben is so disrespectful. I literally cannot. Ben, just when I think that you actually mature and learn something. What? You do something so dumb. I, I can't. Let us know if you think that the, the NBA truth. is. No, you're not. Uh, let us know if you think that the NBA is ready for a female head coach. If so, which team do you think will be the first team to finally pull the trigger and go ahead and hire? I'm going to assume it'll be Becky Hammond. We'll see who will be the first female head coach. Reason why the question is coming up the Toronto Raptors were apparently given permission to interview her, talk to her about their vacancy that they have right now over in Canada. And I do feel like with the progressiveness that uh, Canadian society is, is yeah, that's the right way to phrase it. I think that they would be in the top like five, I would say, for the teams that would potentially hire a female coach. But I don't know if the NBA as a whole is ready. To your point, it's a cultural thing. So we'll see. Uh, coming up next, we've got Andre Douglas from the Boys and Girls Club. We're going to talk about their college signing day. We'll come back to this conversation and also talk about the weekend after that interview, which is coming up next. American Family Insurance believes in the power of dreams and that we all deserve the ability to dream fearlessly. That's why within the next five years, American Family is investing $105 million into our communities to help bridge equity gaps, build sustainable communities, and fight for social justice. Because we all deserve to be free to dream. American Family Insurance, insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Products are not available in every state. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, SI and its operating companies. American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway. Madison, Wisconsin. After 60 years, it's their last tour. The OJ's last stop on the Love Train Tour. May 14th at the Riverside Theater. Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, Grammy Hall of Famers, and Philadelphia Soul Icons. Tickets on sale now at Riverside Theater Box Office and at PabstTheaterGroup.com. The OJ's last stop on the Love Train Tour. Truth Nation, it's Tori Lowe from One to Four. And I want you to download the one one seven The Truth app. Hey, because you know it's amazing. Wow. Hey, 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 that's not bad, Sherwood. That's not bad, all right? But T Lo, show Sherwood Hughes how it's really done. Truth Nation, it's your boy Tory Lowe for one to four. And Sherwin's impression may have been trash, but he's right. You can hear all our best interviews, Panthers basketball, and me bringing all the smoke by downloading the Truth app today in the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. And why should they download the app, Ben Jammy? You want to know why, T-Lo? You want to know why they should download the 101.7 The Truth app? Because it's amazing. Boom. All your favorite interviews and best moments live in one place. Download the new 1017 The Truth app now. I love the Truth app. I like being able to go back and listen to old taping. Milwaukee Black Talk. 1017 The Truth. Dear hero, whoever you are, thank you for donating plasma. My body literally gave up on me. Receiving plasma treatments was, to me, hope. Now that I'm out of the wheelchair, I love going on walks, swimming. Those were some of the things I was told that I would never be able to do. I have swells all up and down my arms or my legs, my hands. I could have an airway swell and that's life-threatening. I haven't had any attacks in about three months since trying it. It's crazy because it was daily that I'd have these and it's just gone. Because of you, I can walk again. Because of you, I feel amazing. Giving equals living. Give plasma. Replenish the supply. Make an appointment to give today by visiting hhs.gov slash give plasma. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. This Associated Bank Sports Update on 1017 The Truth is powered by ESPN Milwaukee. I'm Greg Matzik. 
The Packers begin the day with three selections in rounds two and three of the NFL draft, including picks number 42 and 45 overall. With the 13th overall pick, the Packers select defensive end Lucas Van Ness from Iowa. He did play like a thousand snaps in the last two years, but it's two years of uh, football. He redshirted his first year. So I just think there's a lot of growth there, and the physical traits are all there for him to grow, so there's no real limitation on him. Packers general manager Brian Gutekunst. Rounds four through seven will take place on Saturday. Brewers and Angels begin a three-game series at American Family Field tonight. Hear the game on 620 WTMJ with coverage beginning at 6.07. And in the NBA, the Los Angeles Lakers and Golden State Warriors will advance to the second round of the NBA playoffs with wins tonight. This sports update presented by Associated Bank. Proudly supporting our hometown teams. Member FDIC. You are listening to Nothing But The Truth with Melanie Ricks on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Yeah. Styling no. Listen, but got pictures with me smiling no. What is this? All the things you need, you still want problems though. All the things I know, I still been nope. silent though. I ain't never heard it yeah. before. Used to be at Silver City in the yeah, gold. Used to be album. in lunchroom playing well, dominoes. Not even Scorpion, this more life. I don't wanna have to go to funerals. It's it's not I one of his bigger hits. What's up? We're back. Real quick, uh, before we get to our interview, I just want to say, Ben. I was thinking about it. I think it wouldn't necessarily be the Lakers who would hire a female coach because Jeannie Buss owns that team. I could see her being a little bit weary about hiring a female coach because it's giving I'm a woman, so I'm going to hire a woman vibes. Mm, the and, alpha female type, type and, thing. And I could see just knowing her personality and you know knowing uh, the way that she manages that organization, I could see her feeling like, mm, Nah, because people are going to think I did it just because I'm a woman and she's a woman. But somebody in my live said, what about the uh, Mavs because Mark Cuban? I see him being the progressive one that says, I'll take a chance. And right. I, can just, I can see Mark liking the idea of being the first team to hire a, a, a female coach. He is the part of the Illuminati. They might make him do it. Lord Jesus. All right, we're going to go to Andre Douglas. What's good, Dre? We're here to talk about college signing day bars. How are you doing today? More bars. I'm great. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm I'm ready to talk about these kiddos. Before we do, though, if you don't mind, I just want to briefly bring you into our conversation. Allegedly, the Raptors are currently talking to Becky Hammond to potentially take over in that head coach vacancy that they have. Do you see them actually going forward and hiring her? Um, and if not, do you see any team hiring a female head coach in the near future in the NBA? You know, I, I don't know. I, I know that Becky, uh, I think it's Becky Hammond, she was considered... Uh, for the Bucks position right around when we hire Coach Bud. So, uh, and from what the tabloids and the reports were saying, she was a favorite. You know, I don't know how true that is. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I think the NBA is progressing. Uh, we now, we see female referees in the NBA, and the NBA has shown that it is willing to take steps to uh, diversify their game and their industry. Uh, I believe we see female agents now in the NBA. We see female GMs uh, and other female. I think the Players Association president leadership is under female leadership as well. So I don't think that it's impossible for the NBA to do it, but uh, the question is what team would be the first to pull the trigger? So it's not as simple as people think it is. Right. I definitely agree. Well, everybody, I want to remind you to tune into The Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris. Next Wednesday, he'll, he will be broadcasting live from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee College Signing Day, sponsored by Direct Supply. Dr. Ken will speak with young scholars and representatives from the local Boys and Girls Club about the over 800 high school and college students that they serve and the millions in financial assistance that they get every year to attend college. Again, that's Truth in the Afternoon, live from the Boys and Girls Club uh, Signing Day, College Signing Day, excuse me, next Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on the award-winning 1017 The Truth. And with that, we've got Andre Douglas on the line here to talk about College Signing Day. Can you explain to folks what it is exactly and why should we get pumped about it and tune in to The Truth in the Afternoon and listen to this live show? Yeah, so this is our 10th anniversary of the event. So College Signing Day was created to celebrate 
high school success and college acceptance. If you watch the news in our city or really anywhere in the world right now, uh, there's a lot of negativity, unfortunately, on the news, and a lot of it has to do with the teens and the young adults. So we decided 10 years ago to flip the narrative and start to highlight some of the more positive things that's going on in our city, and college acceptance is one of those things that we decided to highlight. Uh, and the reason we should get excited as a city, because this could easily be a negative story with hundreds of kids doing their thing on the wrong side, but this is really shedding light on what's happening on the positive side, because not only are these young people committing to higher education, but they're committing to higher education nearly debt free. You know, I've been on the truth many times and we've talked about this, how college is one of the most largest investments or debts that we'll ever have in our lives. And, you know, we're grateful to say that many of our young people end up going to college for nearly no student loan debt. So we're excited to celebrate this again for our 10th year next Wednesday. That's so dope. Well, we're really excited about it as well. How is it that, you know, the, the kids that you do bring in for this, how do they even get involved? Like, are these kids that are connected directly to the Boys and Girls Club? I want to understand how uh, these kids even find out about College Signing Day. Yes, yes. So these students that we're highlighting next week are connected to, uh, it's all through our Graduation Plus College Access and Success programs at the Boys and Girls Clubs. So students are members of the club, students uh, from local high schools that apply to be in our program and become club members are being celebrated. You know, currently we're hosting nearly 400 students in our high school program with openings for freshmen and sophomores. Uh, and we're serving close to 400 kids in our college program as well. So what's really unique about the work we do in Grad Plus at the Boys and Girls Clubs is once a student is in the Grad Plus program, we're working with them in high school and through college graduation to the best of our ability. And the beautiful thing about the students that we serve, uh, many understand that opportunities are what you make them, right? A lot of times it's easy to blame someone for something that didn't happen or someone didn't do it, but students seeked us out, they came to us for the assistance, right, and we provided the best assistance uh, that we know how to do, and they're all taking ownership of their academics, their education, and their futures by committing uh, to a college education for the next four or five years. We're speaking with Andre Douglas, Assistant Vice President of College and Career and Teen Services at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee. And Andre, you talked a little bit about the importance of this program and what it means to highlight these students in a positive light, because a lot of these students come from Milwaukee schools, and I believe all of them are from Milwaukee County. or it's great, So it's Greater Milwaukee, correct? So it's all Milwaukee County? They all come from Milwaukee County? Uh, yep, so most of our students living in the city of Milwaukee. So Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Milwaukee, as you know, over 50 sites, many in Milwaukee Public Schools, COCs, um, and some other um, high school and, and elementary school sites, but also our legacy sites and our Ready Center over off Valar Phillips. So all of the students uh, that attend our Grad Plus program uh, have a home club of the Ready Center powered by our friends at the Milwaukee Admirals. Shout out to the Admirals who are starting their playoff run tonight. And so students have a space to call their own right here from surrounding areas, whether that be Milwaukee, whether that be Tulsa. Uh, we don't want to turn kids away that seek us out for help. So in our building here, uh, in addition to our college students, we have the career readiness programs with a, uh, a state certified CNA lab, uh, driver's education courses. So we really created something here for students, of course, from Milwaukee, but anyone that really needs support of the services that we offer here at the clubs. Thank you so much for that information. Just one more question for you before we let you go. First off, please let us know if there's any other information that you do want our listeners to know. But then I want to know, how can people get involved with College Signing Day moving forward? Yes, yes, yes. So just some information, you know, we already talked about the Ready Center. We have a big push on getting teams back into our clubs uh, at a higher rate. So we have some great things that we're going to roll out this summer uh, for our teams. So be on the lookout. Check our website daily. Uh, if you're interested in Graduation Plus, driver's education, CNA courses, uh, career development, you know, earn and learn, job placement, check us out at bgcmilwaukee.org and look up information on our Ready Center or the career development or grad plus and know that you know boys and girls clubs although in the name it is very committed to serving teens and our young adult members who get with us in our grad plus and career development program through that graduation age and through some of those early adult ages and so um how to get involved with college signing day college signing day is a ticketed event 
So we have very few tickets remaining. So if you're out there and you want to come check it out, uh, College Signing Day presented by Direct Supply is on Wednesday, May 3rd at 6 p.m. It is a ticketed event. For ticket information, you can check out, you can email us at grabplus at bgcmilwaukee.org. But also, uh, you can watch us live on Facebook and YouTube at 6 p.m. next Wednesday. So as soon as we're done with the truth at the live remote, you can go right to the Facebook page, BGC Milwaukee, and watch the entire show uh, right from the comfort of your own home. That's awesome, Dre. I really appreciate you, and I'm, I'm super excited for you and all of these co- high school and you know future college students as well. This is the 10-year anniversary, you said? Yes, this is our 10th anniversary of the event. In 10 years, we've helped over, uh, we've celebrated over 1,000 students through the College Signing Day. And since our program's inception of 2008, we have helped graduate nearly 700 students with college degrees, which we're also very excited about. Wow, that is so amazing. Well, thank you so much for all that you do. We're really, really looking forward to not only tuning in to the live show with Dr. Ken Harris next Wednesday, where he'll be broadcasting live from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee College Signing Day, but we also get to check out your Facebook Live after, and you said that's going to start at 6 p.m., so we're really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for all that you do, and thank you for coming on and talking to us about College Signing Day. Hope you have a good rest of your day, and hope you have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. All right, y'all. So these students are going to college. Super excited for them. I'm sure they are ready to get those degrees and make some shmoney, honey. And now you can get the opportunity to potentially win some shmoney as well. One call. That's all. One call. That's all is right. We're looking for caller number seven. Hit us up right now. 833-212. One zero one seven. We're looking for caller number seven to be entered into our 5K giveaway. So we do a quarterly drawing where we give one lucky winner five thousand dollars, courtesy of our friends over at Gruber Law Offices. That's the 5K giveaway. And right now we're looking for caller number seven. Hit us up eight three three two one two one zero one seven. Milwaukee, it's Denise Thomas. And Telly Hughes from Truth Be Told on the award-winning 1017 The Truth. We want to make sure you join us every Friday morning at 8 a.m. for our Black Friday shout-out powered by We Energies. Black Friday is your opportunity to call into 1017 The Truth and shout out your Black-owned business and let Milwaukee know what you have to offer. So hit us up every Friday at 8 a.m. to shout out your Black-owned business on Truth Be Told with D. T. and Telly. LabCorp has a variety of open trials now that will fit your schedule. Looking for money for a down payment on your home? Looking to earn some extra money to go on vacation? What about that home renovation you've been thinking about doing for a while? Well, right now, they have studies for healthy adults ages 18 to 60. Body mass index between 18 and 32. Study involves two stays, totaling 15 nights and seven follow-up visits. Compensation up to $13,820 may be provided for time and participation. Receive up to $300 per qualified participant. They also have a trial where they are looking for healthy overweight males and females ages 18 to 55. Females must be of non-childbearing potential. Body mass index between 30 and 39.9. The study involves one stay of 35 nights and three follow-ups. Compensation up to $15,996 may be provided for time and participation. Receive up to $500 per qualified participant. Visit LabCorpClinicalTrials.com to learn more. This is your Financial Empowerment Minute on the new 1017 The Truth, presented by Northwestern Mutual. The other thing that we should be thinking about is diversifying and getting money outside of your business. And so when we think about that, starting small, a Roth IRA is an easy account that you can open on your own, you can open with an advisor, and you can contribute up to $6,000 a year into a Roth IRA. And then if you're over 50, you can contribute $7,000 a year into that. If you want to contribute more money, you can open a SEP IRA. And these are good if you don't have any employees, right? If it's just you, the contribution limits are higher. And then if you start to have employees, then you can think about starting with a 401k. All of these options are going to be based on your situation and how much money that you're bringing in. But there's still a lot of different options out there that can accommodate you and your situation where you are. Tune into The Truth every month for our financial empowerment interviews with Northwestern Mutual. 
Reaching out for support is an important step that takes courage. At Ascension Wisconsin, our mental health professionals are committed to delivering compassionate support and care at every step through personalized substance use disorder programs. Ready for recovery? We're here to listen and offer compassionate support. Start your recovery with our team by your side. Call 855-830-WELL, which is 855-830-9355. This is 1017 The Truth, Dr. Ken Harris, and the time is now, Milwaukee. You know, perspective is essential. What I found is the news behind the news is more important. I want you to leave my show with a sense of knowing what was missing that adds depth to the conversation. Tune in Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. on the new 1017 The Truth, The Truth app or 1017thetruth.com. You are listening to Nothing But The Truth with Melanie Ricks on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Yeah, yeah, drinking dope, turn me to a superhero, yeah, yeah, hit that pill, turn me to a superhero, yeah, yeah. Turn me to a superhero, yeah, yeah. What up, y'all? Congratulations to Fred. He is our winner, winner, chicken dinner. They want that shmoney, don't they, Mel? He want that shmoney, honey, and he may get that shmoney, honey. Today, he qualified for our 5K giveaway, brought to you by our friends over at Goober Law Offices. Okay, that is so funny. So I, I pinned the phone number in the talk to t- in my IG live. That's the talk to text number 833-212-1017. I pinned it because we we're looking for our seventh caller for our 5K giveaway submission. So that's funny. The person asking. We got so many callers. Ben, next time I'm gonna do a higher number. We got like 12 calls immediately. So next time I'm a I'll go up to like 20 or something. You might need to go to a thousand. No, uh, like for real. There were a lot of calls. My bad, y'all. So anyway, um, also, I want to talk about what's going on this weekend. Make sure that you join the Truth Team tomorrow for our Tory Lowe community cleanup. Our three locations for tomorrow are the Milwaukee Fire Station at 1551 North 30th Street at 8 a.m., Central City Cyber School at 4301 North 44th Street at 930 a.m., and then St. Ann Center at 24. 50 West North Avenue at 11 a.m. If you need to hear those again, just hit us up on the talk to text. Obviously, you know Tory Lowe is coming up next. These cleanups are at 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and 11 a.m., and everyone who joins will get a Truth shirt. Shout out to Kyle for modeling that for us, and a free lunch provided by our friends over at Cousin Subs. It looks great, Kyle. That's actually really a, a really dope T-shirt. The Truth Community Cleanup is sponsored by St. Ann Center, the best intergenerational care in Milwaukee, and Cousin Subs, better bread, better subs. Cousin Subs. What? All right, now that voice a little bit better at uh, at, at one p.m. versus seven a.m. versus seven a.m. Yeah, a little bit better now. Hey, everybody got a little shum shum there. Thank you, thank you. All right, y'all, really appreciate y'all so much. We were talking about Becky Hammond potentially getting hired as the next Raptors head coach. Listen, I don't know if the NBA is ready. But I hope and pray that we will see a female head coach in the NBA in our lifetime because girls and women can do anything, and we need to know that. Guess what? Real quick, last thing I'm going to say, there was a cute little girl who said that she wanted to be uh, black, and she isn't black. And you know why she said that? Because she said she wants to be a president because she only knew our president to be a black man, Barack Obama. And I think that is an amazing thing, and I want girls to feel that way about Becky Hammond being a female coach in the NBA. Y'all have a good weekend. Tori Lowe is up next. Bye. Feel like me from the gutter Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger Going viral is getting them sicker This is 1017 The Truth's Telly Hughes And the time is now, Milwaukee Truth Be Told with DT and Telly Is a show that's committed to creating A healthy space and dialogue Every single morning For full transparency when it comes to issues And perspective through the African American lens. So listen to Truth Be Told with me, Telly Hughes, every day from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on the award winning 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. 
Truth Nation, the locations are set and it's time to clean up our city. Join me and the Truth team on Saturday, April 29th for our community cleanup. Go to truthcommunitycleanup.com to volunteer and help keep Milwaukee clean. Everyone who joins gets a Truth shirt, a bucket hat, and a free lunch. Tory Lowe Community Cleanup is sponsored by St. Anne's Center, the best intergenerational care in Milwaukee and Cousin Subs. Better bread, better subs, Cousins, subs. This is 1017 The Truth. It's Melanie Ricks for Axe Housing. Are you tired of paying rent to a landlord and not to yourself? Do you want freedom from paying rent and you're ready to build your own equity? Well, I'm teaming up with Axe Housing, and Axe Housing can make it possible for you and your family to own their own home. It's not just a dream anymore. And Axe Housing has already helped over 3,000 families buy their own home, and you can be next. Oftentimes, your mortgage will be less than your rent, and the average family that Axe has helped has a mortgage around $800 per month. It's time for you to start building a financial future for